Hello guys, today I want to present to you a new Laravel 12 starter kit from ourselves, from Laravel daily team. So we needed a starter kit for ourselves, for our demo projects to avoid overwhelming you guys, our audience with React, View or Livewire that comes with a new Laravel 12 starter kits. In my videos and courses, I want to focus on Laravel functionality. So for those demo projects, I still used Laravel Breeze, even in Laravel 12 and it still works and functions. But what I didn't like from design point of Laravel Breeze is this menu on top. I prefer the sidebar on the left, like in the new Laravel 12 starter kits, which we do have courses about on Laravel daily. So we explored all three of them and we decided to go with our own kind of best of both worlds for ourselves. And also I saw many people wanted a starter kit with just Blade. So presenting to you Artisan Command Laravel New with using Laravel daily starter kit. This is how you could start a Laravel project and I will show you what's inside. By default, it uses SQLite database. I run npm install and npm run build, but there's no React or view inside. It's just Blade with a little bit of Alpine.js where needed and with Tailwind CSS. So that's why we need to run npm commands. And if you're not familiar with that syntax Laravel new using, I have a separate video about it when they released Laravel community starter kits. So basically any one of you can create your own starter kits and use it with Laravel new Laravel installer command. I will link that video in the description below. Now our installation is done and if I go to browser and launch starter.test which is powered by my Laravel herd locally, I see login and register and if I click register this is the design for register page and if I use fake filler to sign in this is the view of the dashboard. So what do we have inside of that starter kit? First, almost identical functionality to Laravel Breeze. So login, register, forgot password and all of that. Also profile with three sub menu items to manage your profile, your password and appearance of the theme. So you can switch to dark mode or use system mode. So in terms of functionality, it's almost the same Laravel Breeze. The differences sidebar on the left instead of top, a bit more colorful. The design was partially inspired by two bootstrap themes we used in the past, which is admin LTE, which was hugely popular like five to seven years ago. And also we used a lot of core UI theme in our quick admin panel and other projects, which looks like this. So this was partially the inspiration, the old bootstrap themes, but in this case we have Tailwind. Also what we have here, you can see on the left example of two level or three level menu items on the sidebar. This is specifically what I wanted to have because that feature is not available in any of those Breeze or new starter kits or just stream from what I know, but this is needed pretty often in real projects. So this sidebar is powered by a file, well, sidebar blade, and this is the code and we have some blade components inside. So we have sidebar link component. So if you want to create new function in your application on top of starter kit, you create a regular controller blade view and then menu item is just X layouts sidebar link with your links. But if you want two level, these are examples, separate blade components components with sidebar to level link parent and regular link. And this is the syntax for three level deep. In general, with the blade component and design customizations, my colleague Modestas has created a wiki with a lot of components mentioned here, like cards, alerts, and other stuff, which was partially generated by AI from the code base. So you can take a look at various customizations and what components are inside either in the wiki or just browsing around resources, views, components. So for example, for the form, we have checkbox and input. And if you feel some stuff is missing, then raise the issue on GitHub. But of course, the main thing about starter kit that it is starter kit, but then you add functionality on top. So if we take a look at routes web, it's good old Laravel. There's no view react or live wire here. If we go to controller, we have blade views returned. There's no inertia. It's plain Laravel MVC pattern. And in my personal opinion, with all that SPA movement, we started losing the classical MVC approach, which still works because not every application needs that dynamic behavior, which overcomplicates the code quite a lot. So if we take a look at the blade file of, for example, setting profile, you go layouts app, and this is all with divs, with HTML and Tailwind, with just some blade components for reusability. Also, I want to show you an example CRUD project based on that starter kit. So we created 
task categories with tasks, so two menu items for two CRUDs, also two levels deep as you can see, and here we have table of categories, you can add a new category, and then you have alert here, and tasks also has a list with pagination, you can add a task, choose the category with checkboxes, so that CRUD behavior is on top of the starter kit and let me show you the code. So in the routes we have two route resources, in the controllers we have queries with blades, and in that blade we have layouts app with action buttons, with divs, with table, everything is with Tailwind classes with some blade components, but probably we can create more in the future. So yeah, again, good old Laravel MVC. So yeah, this is the starter kit created mostly by our internal needs as many open source projects and packages are created in the Laravel ecosystem. A few more screenshots, which we have seen already, and how to use, just start your project using the starter kit and report any issues or suggest improvements. I'm planning to shoot many videos in the future with demo projects based on that starter kit. And also in the comments, we can discuss which starter kit are you using for your new Laravel 12 projects if you have started any new project in recent months. So after a few months have passed since the official release of Laravel 12 and starter kits, what do you use these days? One of the new starter kits, Laravel Breeze, or have your own, or start with no starter kit, let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.